So um, can I ask what prompted you to write the ebook about strategic learning and development? Yeah, so Kevin and I were actually working together on a project uh, over the past couple of years uh, for a big government client. And one of the things that we were asked to do was to build a training and OCM program for the, for the implementation that we were doing. And one of the things that we realized was we were being asked to do this after the fact. So our client really viewed it as a tack on bolt on at the end of the project and not something that they'd really thought about. So they kept saying, we need training, we need communications, we need you to reach out to these thousands of stakeholders. And we said, okay, yeah, we can do that. Um, we started using their learning management system. We started building trainings. But what we realized when we started rolling it out was they had never really figured out what they were trying to build. They were just building training for training sake. Mm -hmm. They never really identified the skills that they needed to build in the field to make sure that their customers were going to be successful. So finally we, we paused, we took a step back and we said, okay, well, what's causing this issue? Why did, why did we inherit this project like this? Right. Um, and that really caused us to say, okay, um, how could we prevent this at future clients? And what we did is we honestly started writing the ebook as a way of trying to understand it and build our own understanding of how to build a better learning and development program so that we could bring that to our clients. Um, and Kevin was really actually the one leading that charge um, at, at our former client. And um, it was really interesting to kind of learn about and then publish that to our, our customers. So that's, that's really what caused us to do it. Yeah, and, and to, to add to that, we joined a team that was already there. So at this, at this client, they already had a team in place um, that was really, really struggling. Um, they were supporting this technical implementation. Um, and because there was really, really low uh, end user adoption, the implementation was at risk of failure because people didn't know how to use the system. It wasn't that the system didn't work per se, um, but people that needed to use it to unlock the value of the system didn't have the skills to be able to do it. Um, and because they were approached as a bolt-on solution, this was an afterthought, um, it, there was this massive skills gap that needed to get closed very quickly. Um, and there were, it was just fingers in the dike everywhere. And it was, we need training, we need training. Well, what do you need training on? We, we don't know, we just need training. We need training, we need to increase the skills. Right. Um, and we really didn't even gain traction until we said, okay, let's stop. No, time out, we're not doing training until we figure out what skills are needed? What are the outcomes for the business that we need to generate at the end of this training? Yeah. Because the training team that was there was taking the requests, building the documents and building the trainings that were being requested, and they were not translating into positive business outcomes or unlocking the potential of the system. Um, and yeah, like, like Matt said, it was, okay, we turn this around. How do we turn this into a repeatable process? How do we bring this to other clients? Um, how do we solve, because this isn't an individual problem. There are a lot of organizations that have this problem. Um, and how do we leverage what we learned here with this client, this success that we helped turn around? How do we help other clients benefit from what we learned? Yeah, no, I think that's a great point because, you know, transformation projects by definition are gonna be cutting across many multiple departments of the organization and trying to get at, ahead of that with some change management techniques and uh, education and identifying the skills gap is really important. What I love about the ebook is even though it's a short, quick read, some great recommendations in there. So we're gonna get to those in just a minute, but I just wanted to thank you guys for, for writing that book and sharing it with our members.